Hi guys, uh, first of all, uh, thank you very much for uh, joining the uh, group here, the uh, my joint venture group. Um, one of the things I want to just announce is that I want to start doing a, uh, a live Q&A, uh, possibly on a weekly basis, to answer all your questions about joint ventures, about business growth. A lot of you in the group uh, are already very successful at business, and a lot of you in the group are already doing some really cool things when it comes to um, uh, joint ventures and business growth and partnerships. So uh, one of the things I want to do and start doing is um, uh, some live Q&A on a week by week basis and, and how that will take the form is um, I'll, I'll put up a um, announcement in the group, uh, let you guys know uh, the day and the time when we'll have the live Q&A and then basically uh, you can put your questions uh, in the comment box uh, for me to answer and help you with. Um, as you know, I've been doing joint venture partnerships now for many, many years. Been very, very successful at it. Um, even though I've sold my uh, consulting biz uh, for eight figures recently, um, I'm still uh, involved in the joint venture space. Um, I, unfortunately, I can't shake it off. Um, <laughs> that's one of the things I'm really, really well known for. Um, as long as, as well as being an eight-figure business mentor, which is what I'm focusing a lot on nowadays. But you know, I want to be able to basically give back to uh, a lot of people who uh, need the help, um, and I want to be able to serve this group on a regular basis. So um, what I like to do is, um, uh, you know, do some live Q and A for you guys on a, a weekly basis. Be here for you to answer any questions that will help you get to where you are right now, to where you need to be. So if you've got any questions for me, please put them in the comment section right now and that I can probably help with. Um, but you're welcome to put them in the comment section uh, after the uh, Facebook Live is ended. And then um, I can pick up those questions uh, for the uh, next Q&A. But my whole reason behind this group, to be honest with you, uh, and forming this group is to um, not only educate you more on how to be successful at doing joint ventures like I have and a lot of my brokers have and a lot of my clients have, but also to help you guys, um, you know, go out there and uh, build your businesses on the back of joint ventures and joint venture partnerships, which really doesn't cost you anything, to be honest with you. You're just, um, uh, you're just um, uh, acquiring access to somebody else's marketing machine uh, literally for free up front for no cost okay this is the power of joint ventures and the beauty of doing joint venture partnerships so um, one of the things I want to hopefully be doing for everyone in this group is on a weekly basis um, doing some live uh, Q&A and answering any questions you have uh, based on the topic of joint ventures and business growth and don't forget, I've got lots of experience in business, probably over 20 years of experience in different areas of business also. So any questions you have for me um, that you'd like to ask, you know, you, you can ask it here at the when we do the live Q&A um, and uh, in the comment section also. Uh, I'll also be uploading uh, for you guys in the file section some documents that you can use, some templates uh, that you guys can use to create your own joint ventures and uh, be successful at doing that. A lot of you have been asking me about becoming joint venture brokers. Now, as you know, I sold my um, consulting business um, literally last month uh, in August for eight figures. And uh, part of the deal was um, I sold my IP as well. But I do still have the rights to some of the online uh, IP that I can still use. And um, I may be doing uh, an online program very soon, probably end of the year, uh, for anyone who's interested in becoming a joint venture consultant. I won't be doing the boot camps anymore, which I was doing regularly for the last five, six years. Uh, but I will be doing um, a uh, an online version uh, for anyone interested uh, to become a certified um, uh, joint venture consultant. So look out for that. Um, another thing a lot of people have asked me is to, uh, you know, do a, um, uh, a probably an intensive or some more joint venture training. So I'm going to be putting some more training into this group to help you guys learn more about joint ventures and how to go out and do your own joint ventures and be successful at that. And like I say again, every week I am hoping to do uh, a live Q and A for you guys. And um, if you've got any questions, uh, please put them in the comment section right now. Even if it's just a hi, uh, I know a few of you are here. So uh, Mohammed says, how to get started when you are new? Okay, so that's that's pretty easy. Um, 
one of the ways to get started if you are new is to um, create joint ventures um, and not charge up front for them. Do it on a performance basis. So one of the easiest ways to work with companies when you are new at doing joint ventures is to work on a performance only basis. Now, Mohammed, your question you just asked about how to get started when you are new, is that as a joint venture broker, as a joint venture expert, or is that doing joint ventures in your own business? Can you sort of clarify that question for me more uh, so I can answer that? So let me know what that question is um, is targeted towards. Is it to targeted towards you doing it for yourself, for your own business, or is it targeted um, for you doing joint ventures for other people? So if you can let me know that, uh, and just write that in the comment section. Um, you're, you're talking about getting started when you are new. Uh, then uh, you know um, I can answer that. Now, one of the things that I do for a lot of my consultants or brokers when they get started is I give them a white label copy of my of my book. You know, the my best selling joint venture book. That's one of the ways that we get them into companies um, uh, when they're new without having any credibility because they're obviously borrowing my credibility. So that's one of the things that I do for a lot of my brokers. Um, but if you're starting off and you're doing joint ventures for your business, then um, if you can let me know if that's the question that you're trying to ask, then I can definitely help you answer that. Um, okay, Joint Ventures as a broker. Uh, I'm a, a flipper super seller too. Okay, yeah, so exactly like I said, if you want to be successful at brokering Joint Ventures and going to do Joint Ventures, then work on a performance-only basis. Uh, I would definitely recommend you do that because then it's no risk to a company and you can get into a company very easily because obviously there's no risk to them for you to do something with them. Okay, Markel, hi Markel. Markel has asked the question, hi Sahel, what software would you recommend to manage the joint ventures you broker? Um, there's a lot of software on the market. Uh, there is uh, um, one that I've used, it's a WordPress, um, I think it's Affiliate Pro, which is a WordPress plugin. So you can use a WordPress plugin, which is really, really good. Um, a lot of people use Infusionsoft, if you're doing more um, bigger joint ventures, for example, that's a good uh, platform to use. But if you just type in affiliate program or affiliate software into Google, it'll give you a good list. But my, by the way, Markel, you're uh, uh, one of my students on my brokering uh, program. On your USB, uh, there it should be a PDF, which is uh, the comparison chart. So that comparison chart in there, if you look at that, there should be a cross reference that will show you what best affiliate software to use. So you already have that. So you should have the answer to that hopefully on your uh, USB stick, which I provide to all my students. Uh, but yeah, again, you know, um, there are quite a few. There is a very basic uh, WordPress plugin that you can use also. Um, maybe have a look at that. We've used that a few times. It's worked really, really well. Um, any more questions, guys, let me know. I'm here to answer them and help you as much as I can. Um, and talk more about joint ventures and business growth as well. That's a topic that I'm very good at, spoken around the world on it, working with clients now and mentoring um, high net worth business owners on that subject. So um, let me know. Okay, so brilliant. Yeah, it's true, Marco. There is a lot of content that we cover on the boot camp. So yes, go over and go through what you have there already because it will provide you everything. Uh, Mohammed says, what skills as a JV broker should you have? Um, one of the main things I say to be successful at doing uh, a broker in JVs is to uh, have, uh, number one, a great personality. Uh, number two, good business acumen. You've got to understand how business works and you've got to be able to be comfortable talking to CEOs, manager directors uh, in a business. So those are the main things really you should have knowledge of in terms of um, communicating. And then obviously there's the knowledge of different types of joint ventures that you can do. Um, I'm going to start posting some training into the group. I've got lots of training on YouTube, YouTube that will help you uh, do JVs. Um, I think I posted um, one of my um, uh, presentations uh, that I did in Chicago a few years ago. That's in the group also. To have a look at that video, but then you know I'll be posting up some more videos to help you guys do that. Um, to go out and basically create um, uh, joint ventures if you want to do that as a broker, which is some of that um, you know our, myself and my team have done very successfully. Uh, if you've got any more questions, guys, put it in the comment section there, and um, I'll be able to help you uh, 
you know, answer any questions you have again about joint ventures or about business growth. Um, and remember, guys, this is a you know an opportunity for you guys to get a lot out of me here because you know I normally charge thirty thousand dollars a day, fifty thousand dollars for two days of consulting, which is what I was charging with my consulting business before I sold that business. So you're getting you know you're gonna get a lot of value here, and it's all free basically. Um, because you're members of my uh, insider circle inside my joint venture group. Now, also, let me know what you want to see in the group. OK, post in the group. Let me know what you, what you guys want to see, because I am very well connected in this space and in most spaces, you know, um, and, and I can definitely help a lot of people in the group in terms of what they're looking for. You're also welcome to post any opportunities you have um, for other people to partner with you. So. Don't worry about doing that. You can post that in the group. Just put your opportunities in there as long as they uh, help people. OK, and it's not basically basically spamming, then I, I'm fine with that. And the moderators will be fine with that. Uh, Ian says, um, how do you deal with skeptical people when you offer to help them grow their business? Um, I'll tell you what, um, again, work on a performance basis. You know, if someone is skeptical, it's only because you haven't convinced them, right, that you can help them grow their business. Uh, and, you know, there are skeptical people out there, but you have to use what is called risk reversal. OK, you have to reverse the risk. So if a person believes honestly that there is no risk to them initially for you to help them get started, then it shouldn't be a problem. Um, and, you know, also it's it's one of those things. People will always be skeptical. Um, it depends on the level that you're um, uh, you're working with. Uh, the higher you go, the higher level you go, the less skeptical people are because they're very uh, tuned in and they do understand the concepts of business growth. So I think, again, remove the risk. Uh, so, for example, one of the things that I do, um, you know, I do, um, uh, you know, a, a VIP day, for example, for anyone who wants to work with me on a one to one. Now, with business owners, I charge anywhere between ten to fifteen thousand dollars for a day. OK, for consulting um, for corporates, I charge 30 to 50 K with the small business owners or the business owners. I give them a guarantee that says, look, you know, you uh, you make the payment, you spend a day with me. At the end of the day, if you don't believe that you've got at least 10 times the value of what you paid, I'll refund you on the spot. So it's a no risk. OK, they know that for a fact that they'll make the payment, they'll spend a day with me. At the end of the day, if they're not convinced that they got everything out of it, they'll get their money back. OK, and, you know, touch wood, it, it hasn't happened. So because yeah, obviously they've got the value. So always try and remove the risk. You know, think about how you can remove the risk to help people. OK, so uh, any more questions, guys, if you've got any more questions, please put them uh, in the comment section uh, below. And uh, like I say, I'm just doing a quick Facebook um, live update to the group to tell you guys what the group's all about, how I can help you, how everyone else can help each other. And uh, I'll be doing these uh, live Q&A sessions uh, on a weekly basis um, from now on to help you guys really understand the concepts of joint ventures and business growth. Um, those are the only two areas that I focus on. I don't do anything else. I could talk about other areas. If you want to talk about Facebook ads, for example, or online advertising, on offline advertising, direct mail, webinars. Yes, I've got experience in that. I can also, you know, give you a bit of advice, but my main, um, area really is, uh, joint ventures and, uh, business growth, uh, which I can definitely help you guys. So if you've got any more comments, uh, please put them in the, um, the comment section below and let me know how you find the group and, and, and tell me what you need more of. Um, uh, Ian says, what are the best uh, sources for centers of influence? LinkedIn. OK, Facebook is also good. Facebook. Um, I used to use Facebook a lot to reach out to thought leaders and gurus. OK, and have conversations with them. Facebook is good for that. But then now we have LinkedIn. So when you're talking centers of influence, if you're going after thought leaders and CEOs, then you want to go down the LinkedIn route. If you're after sort of gurus, for example, in a spa in the space, then it's Facebook to have that um, uh, conversation. Um, Mohammed asked, how do how do you find clients or businesses for uh, doing JVs? Uh, very simple. Um, uh, one of the best ways to do it is face to face. If you go to a networking um, uh, uh, event, uh, ask them the question. You know, how can I get? How can I help you? Um, sell more of your product or service. 
And that's the question you ask to everyone you meet at networking events. You see, I've put a joint venture tip about that. Um, the reason you ask that is because they'll tell you exactly what they're looking for. Uh, and then you just have to go out and find joint venture partners for them. Okay, so that is, um, I would say, if you want to get started, that's a good way to get started, to go and find uh, clients to do, joint, to, to do joint ventures for. Uh, I'm just going to check quickly um, and see. I think we should be okay. Uh, I know my battery is quite low, uh, but I think we should be okay. Let's just, fine. Okay, guys, like I say, um, if you've got any more questions, please put them in the uh, comment section. But, you know, I'll be doing these... Um, uh, um, these Facebook Live uh, Q&As now uh, on a weekly basis to help you guys uh, in terms of um, uh, with joint ventures and business growth. So uh, like I say, uh, use the group, be active in the group, post in the group, put your opportunities in there, any challenges you're having. And, um, uh, you know, we have a good uh, collective in there uh, that can help answer any questions for you and help you, um, you know, be very successful. Uh, to go out and form more joint venture partnerships, find more joint venture partners for your business to help you grow your business quicker um, by spending less money. Okay, so the whole point of joint ventures really is is to decrease decrease your marketing uh, your marketing costs. Ian says, "Is that a wallpaper background?" Yes, it is. This is a, a back. This is not my real background. This is a background for uh, for use on video. Um, I thought it was quite cool. I saw a, another friend of mine who, who had a similar background. I thought it looked pretty, uh, pretty classy. Um, uh, Joyce says, thank you for all your help. No, you're welcome. Uh, Afuri says, guess I've missed uh, some things. No, it's okay. When you, um, when I, uh, when I, when I finish the video, you can go back and you can watch, um, uh, you can watch the, the Facebook live again. Um, and I'm sure that will help you. So let's see if, um, I can get it to go. Okay, cool. Yes, yeah, so this is quite cool. Um, you know, like I said, every week I'll be doing these Facebook live Q and A's. The reason I want to do it, guys, is to give back. Okay, you know, I could have easily have retired after selling my business for eight figures. You know, um, but I I'm not going to do that because um, I still want to be go out there and help as many people as I can, and have conversations with people as I can, um, as well, and you know, just give back. To be honest with you, and this is one of the reasons why I create this group is to basically give back okay and uh, and to help you guys um, be successful um, without really having to come to my programs or spend money and invest money in my mentoring programs for example you know I'm going to try and provide you with all the information you need right here uh, you know so you can uh, get all the knowledge and get all the training from me on a regular basis as well so guys let me know if you've got any more comments uh, we'll be wrapping up this um, live Q&A very soon. Um, and if you've got any more questions for me, put them in the comment section. I'd love to hear more about how I can help. Or um, any questions you have for me generally um, on the topic of joint ventures or business growth or to help you build your business. Um, and uh, you know, like I said, we'll be doing these uh, Facebook Live uh, Q&A sessions uh, from now on on a weekly basis. Uh, with my cool background um, and uh, you know I'll be able to answer all your questions uh, so you know I hope you guys uh, really enjoy the group uh, please be active do as much as you can to help other people in the group also uh, and don't be shy you know don't be shy. Uh, Afora says what do I need to start training people on how to use this stra strategy because I have used it and it's really helped me a great deal okay cool um, I'll be doing some more uh, videos in the group uh, some live videos and some training I'll upload some more training videos uh, to be able to help you and, you know, and help other people. I suggest one of the things, um, Afori, where are you based? I think, are you based in, uh, let me know where you're based. And uh, I think I know the question you're asking is, um, you know, possibly becoming a joint venture broker or, or joint venture consultant so you can deliver training and help other people, right? Um, I'll be doing another program very soon, probably end of the year or beginning of the year. Um, I'll be doing an online program because we don't do the boot camps anymore uh, to help you um, uh, become a certified joint venture consultant so you can actually do that and help other people. Um, Ian says, what's your thoughts on how to build credibility with influencers? Um, write a book. That's one of the most successful things that's created millions for me. Um, write a book, put all your knowledge down in a book and share that book with other influencers. Um, I think that's the that's the best way. Um, Mohammed says if you can update your weekly Q and A session day and timing, that will help many 
members attend live on time. Okay, cool. So one of the things I want you guys to do is, um, if you're watching this video, in the comment section, put for me the day, the best day and the best time you'd like me to do the Facebook Lives every week, uh, the Q&A sessions, and also put your time zone as well. So, you know, if you're UK, EST, PST, Africa, uh, Dubai, Middle East, China, where are you guys um, uh, uh, watching this from? And let me know um, where you'd like, um, uh, what day and times suit you, and then we'll try and uh, amalgamate that and get that corrected so a lot of you guys can start watching. So, anyway guys, I think time's up here. And I just want to say thank you very much for um, jumping on this live q and I, I know it's pretty much unannounced, but um, uh, let me know when you'd like me to do the live Q&As uh, on a week-by-week -week basis. And uh, thank you very much, guys. Uh, I really appreciate your support. And for you guys being here in the group, we'll be, having, we'll be getting some more videos done on a week-by-week -week basis, live Q&As, because I think that will really help a lot of people in the group. So, guys, wherever you are in the world, have a great evening, afternoon, morning, and... Um, I'll speak to you guys soon. Take care.